What's up YouTube, I'm Brandon from Tattooing 101 and today I'm going to teach you how I started drawing neo-traditional roses when it comes to trying to come up with ideas for how to draw different roses and different styles for different tattoos that you're doing. This is what helped me along my way of being able to draw neo-traditional roses. Let's get into it. Okay, so this is how I started drawing flowers when I first started tattooing. Now, I already did a video on how to get used to drawing traditional flowers. You know, you do a circle and then you drew another circle and kind of like fill in the areas like this. You draw one circle, another circle, and then you start out, this is the middle of your flower and go through and make your shapes. So this is the best way to learn how to draw roses. But when I was getting into neo-traditional and other styles, I had to broaden and think of a way to kind of come up with different rose designs without being really good at kind of drawing off the top of my head. So this is exactly what I did. Whenever I first started, um, I didn't necessarily have a house with a ton of flowers and everything, so I'd go around, try to find rose bushes and take pictures of them. Obviously, I probably couldn't do that now because I have face tattoos and I'd probably get the cops called on me if I went up to someone's random, you know, rose bush and tried to take pictures, unfortunately. So now I do have rose bushes at my house that I use all of the time obviously when the weather's good and they're nice and open to take pictures of to be able to make references for tattoos so these are the pictures that i got i took this one the other day and it's really cool if you have a water bottle with you you could just throw some water on the flowers and have these really cool little um, water puddles on the flowers it makes a really good tattoo for like realism if you're going for realism all you would really have to do for this is go to the hue saturation and brightness right here and then turn this down and that would be a reference right there you could just zoom in and use this as your tattoo you could change the darkness on it to be able to see all the little veins in the flowers um, everything you really need to be able to do a really good realism tattoo but for this i'm going to show you how to use these as a reference for drawing different styles obviously neo-traditional New School would be the best for this. There's a couple different ones that I chose. I really like this one a lot and this one as well. So for Neo Traditional, this is probably the one that I'm going to use. Now what I would do, turn the opacity down because we don't necessarily need this to be super bright and powerful. We're just going to draw over it anyway. What we're going to use this for is pretty much getting the shapes. So anytime you're doing a tattoo, you want to work with flow. So we're not necessarily going to use the leaves right here but we're going to use this flower and we could even use this if we wanted to. We could just do it on a different layer to be able to use it. So we'll go through here um, and go to our sketcher. And what we're going to do is just pretty much go with the shapes of this flower. We're not going to you know, be super perfect with it because this is just you know, kind of our sketching stage, but this is gonna help a ton with getting everything you need to do for a flower without kind of having to guess how flowers look. You know, you could use references and kind of copy other people's designs, but this is going to make sure that all of your roses are completely different and you're actually using live roses so you know it's going to be realistic and flow really well. So we'll go through here. This will be the middle part. We'll have one come up right here. So this part, we're just getting the shapes. We're not going through and making everything perfect yet. And with this, you could even add on extra things. If you wanted, you know, this pedal to be here instead of over here, you could do that. Um, it just kind of depends on the look you're going for. But this is pretty much the basis of the design. So if we take this layer away, it's really hard to kind of tell what's going on, but you could clearly see that it's already a rose because we use that reference. Now, if I'm going through and drawing a rose, you know, off the top of my head. It's going to be really sloppy and really kind of hard to um, differentiate between everything. But with this style, it's pretty much set up for you to be able to do a rose perfectly in whatever style that you really want to. So this is exactly what I would do. And then from there, you could go on to your blue pencil and then go through here and over top of this layer. We can kind of get a structure for everything. Turn the opacity down so we can clearly see. And this is when we're gonna to try to make all of our really nice lines. We're not using that reference anymore because with this one, we're kind of trying to just use our minds. We already used everything we could with that reference and now we're just kind of going with the flow of how we want our tattoo to look. 
I'm kind of turning it more into a neo-traditional style. So right here we could come up and bring that one right there. And this isn't our final product either, so we could kind of be sloppy with this one as well. We're just building up tones, trying to figure out where everything needs to go, but we're not being 100% with everything yet. That'll come on the next layer. So just building up everything, trying to figure out exactly where we want everything to go. You know, I like to zoom in and out to kind of see it from afar so I can clearly see where everything is. If you kind of focus on something really up close, it's hard to see exactly what it's going to look like, you know, as a tattoo. So I like to pull it away, look at it from afar, and then add little areas that I think would be beneficial for the piece. Okay, so from here we could kind of move everything around and try to get a feel for where everything needs to be 100%. So what I'll do, sometimes with this, I'll turn this one down again, get rid of this red one, and we're going to go through this blue one more time just to, to get everything pretty much based out exactly how it's going to go on the tattoo. So I'm going to have this one move around a little bit. I'm going to have this one come up and kind of tuck back behind right here. We're going to make it a little bit bigger. And we are still on our sketcher pen. Right here, I think we're going to change this one a little bit and kind of have it come out a little bit right here, right like this and have this part come down. Being a little bit more dramatic with the actual design. I like how this one looks, so we're just gonna bring it down like this. And instead of kind of having it so thick right there, we're just gonna bring it up right like this and then have it come out. To kind of give it that neo-traditional feel. And then bring this part down right there. Then for the middle, Come up to a point here, then bring it down over. Right like that, and then we have this top one right here we'll bring up. I think we're going to make this one a little bit shorter just to make it more visually appealing. So we'll just come down through here. And try to give it some flow to this. I'm going to make this one a little bit bigger and leave out one over here so I can have room for a leaf. So I'm going to come down here and make this one a little bit bigger. I'm still following the same flow with the flower that we're using. Just, you know, adding little things to it and moving some things around to be able to make it a little bit more visually appealing and for it to work as a tattoo. Um, if you're not doing realism, then, you know, you should use your liberty of being an artist to kind of move some things around and make it a little bit more visually appealing and have more flow on the actual body. When it comes to realism, then you really kind of follow the actual picture and don't go with yeah, just using artistic liberty when it comes to that because you're wanting to copy exactly how it is on the actual piece. But with neo-traditional, new school, you can have the liberty to kind of do whatever you want with it as long as it flows well with the skin. So we're going to add some leaves right here. here. Ok, 
Okay, now we could go in with our hard lines. Now that we have pretty much everything sketched out exactly how we wanted it to go, we could go in with exactly how we would tattoo it. This stage should be pretty easy because all of your lines should be just about perfect when it comes to this stage. So you're pretty much just going over what you've already done, all the work that you've already done in the last steps, and just going through and going over them. And also if you're having issues with drawing or getting used to being able to drawing for tattooing, I definitely recommend checking out our Tattooing 101 sketchbook. You could pick one of the designs in that book and teach yourself how to draw or copy that design and learn how to tattoo right away. So it kind of helps you bypass all the years and years of trial and error trying to figure out how to learn exactly how to draw because you could just look at those designs, even use a couple different designs to make your own artwork and then tattoo them right away. So I definitely recommend checking that out if you are struggling with um, drawing for tattooing and everything but here is the final design so we started out with this flower right here and turned it into a neo-traditional design without having to think of how flowers should be set up or anything like that obviously you could see that it's changed quite a bit since when we started but the same structure if I hold it over here you could see everything is exactly the same when it comes to like the whole structure of the leaf I just cut some petals out and added a few more things to it to make it look really good as a tattoo. But there you go. I hope this was able to help you out and you guys have a wonderful day.